Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. No one escapes my Never lose focus. Minions have spawned. Go is a really popular language at the moment, and for good reason. It's a really great language. I won't lead us astray. We're on the right path. Stand together. Make it count. my best work from afar an ally has been slain an enemy has been slain I always take the high ground An enemy has been slain.
Mastering my arrow? I think not. Hey, Darren here with Renaissance Coders. If you want to see more videos like this one, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. The fancy YouTube algorithms will rank us higher and enable us to keep making great content. Thanks for your time, and let's get into the video. Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you my complete development process. You'll get to see what I do to uh, create or search for art, how I run into errors, and make design decisions quickly. I'll try to cut out anything that isn't useful to your learning, so just sit back, enjoy, and start on the If you have an Android device, you can find and play this project right now on the Play Store. Just search Renaissance Coders. Okay, so first I'm going to start off by opening a couple resources that I know I'm going to need ahead of time. Uh, the first one being the Unity API. If I get stuck on a method call or something I don't remember, I can just do a quick reference to the API. Another thing is flaticon.com. This is what I use for real life purposes, basically. Um, I can just search something like bird, which is something I know I'm going to search for this project. And if I select selection, all of these are royalty free assets that I can use. I just have to provide attribution to them. So we'll come back to that, but I'll leave these open. Uh, let's go ahead and create our new project. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it Happy Bird. So I'm going to do uh, called Bird, and then I'll set it on initial uh, project assets or however it is to the to the, and then I'll just select the create project, and that's going to take a second to load up. And uh, I'm going to provide a link to any of the resources I use in Swiftly this now. tutorial. So if I'm using a piece of software that you're not familiar with, I'll provide a link to that with documentation and resources. Uh, so I'm going to start off by creating a few folders in my directory. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and start by saving the scene. So I'll say save scene, and I'll just drop this in as game. We're only going to have one scene in this project, and it's going to be game. So make sure I save that uh, before I get into the project. I'm also going to add in some fonts. So if you're using Windows, you can do this like this. And uh, the two that I'm going to use are FFF forward and Sego UI. Sego UI is kind of a big one, but uh, I really like the way they're good. So that's going to take a second to import. Uh, so while that's importing, we can actually get into art. Uh, I use Zip for art. I don't think I use Photoshop. I know Photoshop is great, but I've never had the time to actually learn it. And from what I can tell, I can do a lot of the same things in Zip that people should in Photoshop. Uh, so I'll provide a link to this course. There's a few assets that we need to um, make sure that we have though. And I'm going to be creating several of these on uh, 1920x1080 canvas. That's just sort of a default landscape canvas. Uh, I know that this game is going to be in portrait mode, but I want to make sure that I'm covering that width on various aspects of uh, My clouds, my background, my ground. And uh, my stars are going to be on this size image. So uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go into too much detail as I you know create this art. Uh, but what I am doing is creating a gradient from sort of a light blue to a dark blue. Rampage. And then that should focus. be a good backdrop for our background for our game. And I'm going the opposite direction to be on the bottom. Doesn't need to be perfect. I'm going to export this directly into my directly into my project. Looks like my fonts are still trying to be imported into Do Unity, so Sego UI takes a little bit of time for sure. 
After background, we will work on the clouds and the stars. Those are both pretty easy. I'm going to create those on separate layers so that I can export those into the background. Uh, so the stars and the, and the clouds are going to be parallax. So I want them to be separate images. So I'm going to use this brush and this stroke. Um, and I'm going to use a little bit of a lighter color so it stands out. I should make it pop a little bit more. And I'll place these sort of pseudo randomly. Uh, like I said, this is going to be parallax. So these are going to be... Uh, reproduced over and over. We did the same as that. Just randomly close things. No method to the madness. And that looks good to me. Uh, now let's create the clouds. And I'll actually go ahead and export that to stars. And then we can create the clouds. We are Next. one piece. So clouds will be pretty easy. Um, I'll make well, that's probably a good time. I'm gonna use this stroke and I always the high So I can just create a cloud, something like this. You know, this sort of silly cartoon doesn't have to be exactly like it's really easy to spend a lot of time just perfecting the art, but uh, we don't really have time. I'm sure a lot of you have remembered. And this will also be an image that's just recycled over and over. Uh, and hopefully that's okay. I don't want it to be too busy, but uh, like I said, I'm not gonna it. Okay, after that we also have the ground. The ground isn't going to be paralyzed. Uh, so uh, it doesn't need to have to create like a dark Maybe we should just do like an outline on the top of it. So I need to find some green, I already have some here. And I'll do Especially if you're paralyzed in the ground, it's going to be exactly the same. So it looks pretty straight to me. I know I said I'm not going to paralyze the ground, but just in case you are. Yeah, so this is what our scene is essentially going to be looking like. Uh, it's not too bad. I think I might want to erase some of those clouds. I feel like it's a bit too busy. So I'm going to erase a couple of those. I'm going to erase that one. And that one. Perhaps that one. Copy this one. So that's, I think that's okay, and then I'll, I'll merge that down. Clouds again. Clouds as as be. And then, uh, since I created the ground, on. So we have background and clouds, ground and stars. Um, I need the so the pipes that the bird is flying through. I need to create those. And, uh, uh, the large pipe is just to compensate for the pipe to the bottom. So, we'll start off the white background. 
And this should be the last spot that we're going to create. We'll find some other art on Flat Icon. Um, so this is on the layer. And, uh, that's fine. Fine. Nice. Um, I'll use that sort of dark color background. It's going to be sort of cartoony. And uh, let's give it a width of. Alright, and I'll go with that same color green, I think. I think that works pretty well for this. That gradient. Gradients make anything look good, I think. It's hard to mess up something with gradient. Um, then we want to add some I strokes on this ground. to make it look a little bit nicer, I suppose you could say. Your turret has been destroyed. Do 20 and... I'll do 20 and 40, I think. I need that selection back, actually. For the so. thrill yard. Um, so we go something like this. This won't be perfectly straight, but it should be close enough. And, uh, then I'll add... Other side. Has been slain. Just like that. I'm go up Enemy double kill. This might be too big, actually. Oh, it's okay. Um, then we'll come back here and do the same thing. Strike quickly. That's okay. And then I'm going to just add Enemy uh, kill. That color could work actually. I do so my best like work from afar. Needs to be bigger. That's so pink. Uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time though. We want to get to the development, the fun stuff. I'm gonna duplicate this and crunch it up so it becomes the top part of the pipe. So I need the scaling method here. And uh, I'll increase the width a little bit. And then also Too big. I need to crush that up a bit more. I won't lead us astray. That's better. Let's move that to where it's centered. I'll increase the width a bit more. And that looks okay, I think. Let's see. Yeah. We are one. I think that's fine. Uh, so I'll merge that down. And that'll be the last bit of art that we actually create for this tutorial. And this will be called pipe.png. Okay, a couple more things that we need. We need a button for play, a I button for restart, and a break. So let's go to flat icon and find those things. So I don't want to spend too long looking for anything. Uh, you have to remember that we have the author. So I'm going to go with the color. I don't want to be able to change the color of the bird if I want to. Uh, this one looks okay. I kind of like that. Let's see. If, I think I saw something. I think this one looks good. We want. We'll add that. So we have our color. Unstoppable. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. An enemy is dominating. 